Tyler Black here at day two of Spring Awakening. I'm here with Willie Joy backstage hours after you perform. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing great, man. Shout out Chicago. It's so good to be home. Yeah, man. I know that you have been traveling quite a bit lately. I think you were at O'Hare like, what, like five times in seven days or something weird like that this last week? Yeah, I uh, I just tweeted that I, I have been at O'Hare Airport five times in the last seven days. Not, you know, some of it was connections. But I'm just getting to know that airport way too well. Like it's a little, it's a little creepy at this point. I'm like, oh, if I go to gate H6, that's where the good tacos are. I, I shouldn't know that. Nobody should know that. <laughs> you could write like the in-depth Yelp review. Like, yo, if you guys want to know the secrets of O'Hare, let me fill you in. Exactly. But I, I wish I didn't have to write that book. <laughs> where have you been traveling to as of lately? Like, where have you been going in and out of? I, I mean, uh, North America, mostly in the USA. I've been, um, I've been on the East Coast, a lot of East Coast gigs recently. These last two weeks have been the Midwest, and then I go home for about a week, and then I'm on the West Coast, Canada, all over, man. All over? Yeah, yeah man. You're like international. You're Mr. Worldwide, like Pitbull. A little bit. It's weird because international sounds so much better than national. National sounds like I'm a fascist, but international sounds like I'm famous. Like you're a globetrotter. Right, yeah. So I like international, even though I'm really, it's about national right now. Yeah. Still, man, it's pretty rad, you know, and you have been DJing in the Chicago scene for years now. How long have you been doing this? Well, I moved to Chicago in 2005. So that's when I came to Chicago. I've been DJing since well before that. Um, I started DJing when I was like 15, 16. A buddy of mine who's weirdly here today bought our first set of turntables when we were 15 years old. And um, he had it at his house. And I would go there after school every day to like just kind of mess around. And it got to the point where I was there every single day after school. His parents were so sick of seeing me. And um, you know, finally they were just like, get out of our house. And I was like, well, can I at least take the turntables with me? And you know, he, he let it go for a, a fair price and I brought it to my bedroom. And that's kind of how it all started. It's like the equivalent of like a garage band. Were you guys like jamming in your friend's garage and the parents like, quit the fucking noise? It, it was exactly Exactly that, because uh, he, his parents were rich, and um, we had like a lot of space to ourselves, so the entire basement was ours. And uh, yeah, we would just go there, shut everything else out, like make a bunch of weird. We were little raver kids, you know, make a bunch of terrible noise for like five hours. Parents were like, oh, whatever. At least he has a friend, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Now you know when you started DJing in Chicago around 2005, I'm gonna say there were less DJs. Then I feel like there was Foster Thomas, there was like Matt Rowan, I think it was you, but it wasn't like now where it is very inundated with DJ culture. I mean, is that kind of your view? Was it a lot more sparse when you were starting out here? Oh, sure. I mean, everybody's a DJ these days because it's the the bar has been lowered in that it's technically easy to be a DJ now. You can kind of you can do it off iTunes if you really want to, and and some people honestly do that very well. I, I try not to be pretentious about it because there's some people who use simple tools and do really cool things with them. I I grew up before computers were even a part of DJing, so I grew up playing vinyl records on turntables, and that's what I'm used to, but I've had to adapt and change over the years, and I can't imagine going back to that now. So, you know, I, I don't hate on anybody. Like, I think it's cool because all these kids in their bedroom now have a chance for big name dudes to hear them very easily. And it's an even playing field. And we're hearing all these amazing people who we never would have heard beforehand. I love it. Honestly, I'm, I'm a big fan of like new kids getting into it right away. I love it. Well, and you know, the proliferation and the easy access to the DJ lifestyle and culture and trade, I feel like that's really part of what paved the way for this whole event to take place, you know? That's absolutely right. And this is, you know, the Spring Awakening Fest is the biggest dance music event that's ever happened in Chicago. There's like, you know, some people may hate on it, but that's a fact, is that it's the biggest dance music event ever in Chicago. And it's amazing to see this many people out here. We're out here, for those of you listening, we're out here in the middle of the day, and it's already crazy. It's packed. Um... 
it, uh, yeah, you know, shout out to React Presents who put it on. Like, I, I'm really impressed with this whole thing, and I, I so much love for Chicago and the Midwest for everybody coming out because we didn't really know when it started if it was going to get this big, you know, and it has, and it's I can't be thankful enough. Now, what's going on in the world of really joy with like production, remixes, stuff like that? Like, because I know that you, you know, you're doing videos, you do our tracks. You're you're not just a DJ. You're a producer, and you've got like a whole world that comes with that. I, I've got a lot of music that's going to come out in the second half of 2012. I had in the second half of 2011 a bunch of stuff dropped, and um, I was quiet to the public eye for the first half of this year because I was basically in the studio working on a lot of new music. Um, um, I have a ton of releases coming out on various different labels. Um, I can't talk about all of it yet, but it's. I played a lot of it today at Spring Awakening, like the new singles and the new remixes. I, I can't wait, man. There's a lot coming out. Like, just hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, or SoundCloud, any of that. Just slash Willie Joy with a Y, and you'll hear it the second it comes out. I dig it, man. Well, Willie Joy, you really, man, veteran in this city now. You're like kind of like, you know, a big brother to some of these DJs who are starting out now, and I think that's very cool. Um, you know, best of luck with everything you have ahead of you, and, and keep going, man. And you're doing Chicago proud. Dude, thank you so much. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for talking to me, and, you know, I hope everybody had a great time today and the rest of the weekend. Take care. Peace.